and today we are with the director of Navkar Institute, Urvish Sa Sir. And he will be giving us the brief about UK ACCA course. Are you ready for it, sir? Yeah, I'm absolutely ready. Okay. So, my first question would be, what is UK ACCA and uh, why one should consider pursuing UK ACCA course? Uh, basically, in accountancy profession, there are three major qualifications where Indian students may think. Number one, that is Chartered Accountancy, that is Indian Chartered Accountancy. Second, that is UK ACCA, which is also known as a Global Chartered Accountant. And third one, that is US CPA. CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. I want to say uh, that global presence is of UK ACCA. The reason behind that, the way in which uh, UK was dominating India, we were under the British rule. In a similar way, uh, half of the world was once upon a time under the British rule. And that's why wherever accounting process profession established, uh, there is always a dominance of UK. And that's why UK ACCA is there in 190 countries of the world, uh, which is similar to Indian Chartered Accountancy and which is again similar to USCP. So can you give us the brief about the subjects which are there in UK ACCA course? Yes, basically in case of UK ACCA there are three levels. First is known as knowledge level, second is known as skill level and third one is known as professional level. At knowledge level there are three subjects which is known as FA financial accounting, MA management accounting and BT that is business and technologies. At skill level there are six subjects. One is auditing, second is financial reporting, that is nothing but accountancy. Third one is performance management, that is nothing but costing. Fourth being taxation, fifth being law, and sixth being financial management. In, in two subjects like taxation and law, we know that that may differ from country to country. And that's why in UK CCA, that is the only institute which is giving you option. Either you want to go for uh, the taxation of UK, you want to go for taxation of Singapore, Texas, and uh, Hong Kong. So they are giving country-wise option. So many options are there, and that's why it is having a global recognition. Plus, at professional level, there are in total six subjects. Out of which two subjects are compulsory. One is SBR, that is again nothing but accountancy, and second is SBL, strategic business leader. And uh, these two subjects are compulsory. Anyone uh, opting for professional level will have to go for these two subjects. And out of remaining four, any students need to opt to which four subjects? One is AFM, Advanced Financial Management. Advanced Financial Management is nothing but the extension of financial management, which a student would learn at uh, skill level. Second, that is AAA, Advanced Auditing and Assurance. That is nothing but the extension of auditing of skill level. Third one, that is APM, Advanced Performance Management. That is nothing but the extension of uh, performance management. And the fourth one would be ATX, that is Advanced Taxation. So out of these four subjects, students need to opt for two subjects of their choice. And uh, remaining two subjects, as I said, SBR and SBL, these two subjects are compulsory for the students. So what should be the ideal age for pursuing UK ACCA? Can school students pursue UK ACCA course? Yeah, definitely. Uh, that is the only course currently in India or maybe at global level where a student who is just studying in 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade can think of uh, accountancy profession. And uh, I would say that there is one route in UK CCA which is known as FIA, Foundation in Accountancy. And that foundation in accountancy is nothing but a diploma certificate. Anyone can opt for it. And once you complete with that FIA route, eventually you can go for UK ACCA. And when you jump into UK ACCA after completion of FIA, uh, you will get directly admission at skill level. So you will not have to study knowledge level once again. But globally, the only one profession, accountancy profession, which can be done at school level and that is UK ACCA. Apart from that, if you if someone wants to do it after 12th grade, it can be done even after 12th grade. And after 12th grade, uh, depending upon university which a student may opt for graduation, they may get exemption of certain subjects. Uh, if I just give you an example, if someone is op opting for Gujarat University for graduation, uh, the candidate will give exemption of will get the exemption of uh, five subjects. If someone has cleared done the graduation. In that case, uh, he would get another exemption. 
and uh, if someone is a chartered accountant and thinking to pursue UKC CA, there will be exemption of nine papers. So you'll have to just go for the last four papers that is of professional level. So this is the only qualification which can be started from the teenage, like 14 or 15 years, and that can be done can be done uh, subsequently at any stage in the life. If you are doing it late, definitely you will get uh, some benefit of getting exemption. But if you are very sure that yes, I want to pursue accountancy profession, and you are very clear from the school age, uh, I would definitely recommend that you can think of UKCC. As you were talking about exemption, can you give us the brief about all the exemptions uh, that students get eventually? Uh, it's a good question that uh, ACCA is giving exemption. Uh, if someone has completed twelfth grade of schooling, afterwards if his or he or she is opting for the UK CCA. Uh, depending upon university, which university you opt, you get the exemption because they have bilateral tie with various universities. But uh, if I speak about Gujarat and specifically Ahmedabad, Gujarat University with which they have made the bilateral tie, and any student opting for graduation from Gujarat University is getting exemption of first five subjects. Out of which three subjects will be of uh, knowledge level and uh, two subjects will be of skill level. So out of 13 papers, there will be exemption of five subjects and students will have to go for eight subjects only. Uh, in fact, they have made the curriculum of uh, Gujarat University graduation that if someone is getting exemption, still they will get the knowledge of these subjects uh, from the graduation curriculum. So there, would, there won't be any duplication of studies. That is the logic behind. But if someone has uh, cleared CA intermediate or CS executive. So the student will get the exemption of six subjects. And if someone is already a chartered accountant, and uh, in that case, uh, he or she would get the exemption of nine papers. Sometimes it is also happening that if you have clear, completed intermediate studies of CA, and if you have completed few subjects of CA final, not all subjects, uh, still you get the exemption of nine papers. But for that purpose, you just need to send your credentials uh, to UK ACC and based on which uh, they will give you. But once you have completed with intermediate studies and uh, you have passed that examination of CA intermediate, eventually you are getting exemption of six papers. But what progress otherwise you have done uh, in CA final, based on that you may also get the exemption of a few more subjects. So what is the time duration one should consider while pursuing UK ACC I would say that uh, around three years that is a good time within which you can complete. Like uh, there are 13 papers and if someone is giving exam every quarter, so eventually around 3 years someone may complete this uh, course or curriculum and they can get the degree or uh, certificate of ACCA affiliate. Afterwards, the way in which in India there is a requirement of internship, there is no requirement of internship in UK ACCA. Rather I would say that they have better option. They are saying that once you complete with your studies and then after you go for your job. In job eventually you are getting responsibilities, you are getting a very good salary and they are saying that you need to work for 3 years in a job and afterwards you will get ACCA membership. So till that time period of 3 years uh, of experience your tag will be ACCA affiliate and eventually once you complete with this 3 years of experience. Uh, you will get a membership of ACCA. So I believe this is a better option in comparison with the rest of the option. Otherwise, what is happening? Sometimes we have seen that in CA, uh, students are completing articleship, but somehow they are not able to manage to complete their CA final studies. So here they say that first of all, you concentrate on your studies and then after you go for a job because in case of internship, you get only a stipend, whereas in case of job, you get a salary. So that's how I consider this as a better option. So can you give us the brief about how the exams are conducted uh, of UK CCA? Yes, uh, I would say that uh, as I mentioned that there are three levels, knowledge level, skill level and uh, professional level. So I will also speak about the exam pattern as well as how a student can appear for the exam. So uh, there are 13 papers. First one, if I speak about knowledge level, it will, it will be a computer based exam, number one. It will be in completely multiple choice format. And third one, this is on demand exam. So you can book exam at the interval of a week. And uh, where you can give exam at two different places. Number one, you can give exam at your own place, at your own home. 
and uh, you can also give exam at the center which are being uh, designated center by ACCA so at both the places you can appear for the exam and that is on demand so you just require a, a week interval eventually after making payment of fees and everything once they are okay with and if there is a seat available in the designated center you can appear for the exam and exam format would be completely multiple choice question so far as skill level is concerned in which one paper that is subject of law that is again once again can be appeared uh, either at home or at the designated center it is once again on demand exam and third one again it is completed in the multiple choice form but so far as remaining five subjects are concerned of skill level remaining five subjects of skill level other than the subject of law uh, for that purpose there are four times where ACC is conducting exam in a year they are conducting in the month of March June, September and December and usually these exams are being conducted in the second week where student can enroll for the exam and that can be given once again at two different places number one designated center and second student can also give their exam at, at their own place uh, obviously at that time there would be a requirement of a laptop there would be a requirement of internet and all now what would be the, the way of exam or what kind of question the student will face at skill level out of 100 marks 60 marks would be multiple choice question and for remaining 40 marks I bifurcate in two parts 120 marks question would be a practical question and where student need to answer in excel during exam itself in the excel and remaining 20 marks student need to answer uh, the theoretical question in a word so it would be a combination of excel word and multiple choice question for five papers of uh, skill level and these exams can be given four times in a year these exams can be given even from home or it can be given even from the centers there is only one center in Gujarat uh, that is at Gandhinagar and where student can enroll and can give the exam but that is not on demand exam it's not at any point of time you can request for the exam it can be given only at the regular interval as and when ACC is keeping exam uh, so, so far as last level is concerned once again this can be given from home as well as from the center four times in a year they keep the examination and uh, but one more thing that uh, at third level they don't keep any multiple choice question whatever question you will face you need to answer in excel in word as well as uh, many a time in the subject of SBL you will have to make powerpoint presentation within the exam itself so that's a difference at uh, professional level there is no multiple choice question and that can be given at center as well as at from your own place so this is the format and uh, skill level and professional level uh, means uh, for uh, nine subjects uh, five papers of uh, skill level and four papers of uh, professional level for nine subjects you are suppose if you are giving in the month of March exam you will get your result in April if you are giving in the month of June on a fixed date you are getting in the month of July so almost if they take one month then ten days to give you the results whereas in case of on demand exam as and when your exam is complete immediately you will get the results Sir, so will this particular course help students in working in foreign countries? I would say, as I mentioned, this course is valid, acceptable. Members are there in 190 countries of the world. And uh, there was an era where there was a British dominance. And uh, uh, so all companies, all countries are accepting UK CCS. And based on UK CC, I want to clarify you will not get visa somewhere visa that you get based on your own credential maybe you need to satisfy the visa criteria of that respective country but once you get the visa afterwards will I get the job based on UK ACC my answer is yes suppose if I think about Canada so uh, will I get visa of Canada based on my UK ACC credential my answer is no you can get your uh, PR or work permit over there based on your eyelid score maybe on your other credentials your age many other factors are there but once I reach there in Canada will I get job based on UKCC my answer is absolutely yes so my suggestion would be that if you have a global perspective that yes I may migrate out of India you can definitely think of UKCC you will not get visa based on that but you, can, you will definitely get job based on so what is the scenario of placement after completing UKCCA? Uh, I know almost all accountancy profession globally and uh, 
the best thing which I found in UKCCA that their efforts for the placement. I have not seen such a dynamic placement website ever anywhere in any accountancy profession where they are giving you option not only at the time of result, result throughout the year and their, their website is dynamic where being an employer you can put the request that this is the job profile for which we are looking for ACCA and uh, any candidate who is UKCCA affiliate or UKCCA member can make a direct application to that country based on this job portal. So uh, I would highly recommend everyone to visit once by writing in a Google uh, UKCCA job and eventually you will land on the UKCCA job portal. That is the best portal which I have seen. Uh, they will give you options of all seven continents, within continents, within countries, within countries, uh, within different states, St within states there could be cities and uh, different type of job profile, different type of pay scale, what kind of work you are looking for, uh, you want to work on full time basis, part time basis, freelancer. So they have made very good efforts for the placement purpose and uh, I sincerely appreciate and uh, I, I would say that once everyone should visit that job portal. So, so far as placement is concerned, it is of next level and as and when any candidate is getting experience of working, eventually the scale would high. In Ahmedabad city if you ask me or uh, maybe anywhere in Gujarat, the beginning pay would be around 6 lakhs to 9 lakhs INR. And if you go to cities like uh, Mumbai or Bangalore in India or Noida, it would be around 9 lakh to 12 lakh. If you go to Dubai or Singapore, it would be around 20-25 lakhs. Uh, if somehow if you reach uh, Canada or USA in in a form of uh, with the visa and everything, eventually you may get around five, 50 to 60 lakhs per annum uh, INR. So that is not a bad pay to begin with, and that's what a beginning pay I'm seeing, not the average pay. Sir, so can you give us a brief about the cost one should consider when pursuing the PCC uh, I would say that. Uh, any day commerce is cheaper than science and uh, average course for any accountancy profession whether Indian or global if you do it would be around 4.5 lakh to 5 lakh rupees and uh, that almost cover everything this fees would be paid in pound because it's of UK but different type of fees if I convey one is the registration fee Second would be exam fees as in when you appear for the exam. Third would be yearly subscription as in when you progress, you complete one year and you are moving to the other year. At that time yearly subscription you need to pay. And fourth would be coaching fees uh, where you are going for different subjects learning. So eventually it would be around 5 lakhs uh, a student can keep depending upon the UK pound rate it may vary from Five lakh or five lakh fifty thousand on the higher side. So, which companies would be hiring UK CCA candidate in India? Uh, I would say that they would be hired by three. Number one, that would be Big Four, KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, EY. They hire UK CCA. Second, MNCs, multinational companies. Multinational companies, those who have global presence, maybe an Indian company working somewhere else, or maybe a foreign company working in India. So this multinational companies hire a UK CCA and third one be, would be the outsourcing units. Uh, nowadays there is a trend of outsourcing and uh, where they get the work from UK, they get the work from the other parts of the world which is being worked here. The accountancy work or taxation work is done in India. So this outsourcing unit on a, in a very large number they hire a UK CCA. And everywhere as I said that around pay package would start in Ahmedabad or maybe in Gujarat somewhere would start from 6 lakh to 9 lakh. So you might be hired by uh, MNCs, big four, uh, outsourcing unit. At the same time, sometimes chartered accountancy firm, they also hire uh, UK CCs. So these are the four different options. So what is the difficulty level for pursuing UK CCA and result ratio? Uh, I can say any accountancy profession uh, where this professional course is, they are always difficult and I, I, I appreciate that easy otherwise doesn't have any value. Simple graduation is easy but it doesn't have any value. So any, any of this accountancy profession uh, is difficult but 
the good part of this accountancy specifically uk cca uh, every quarter you are appearing for one paper so number one your focus would be on that particular paper so you won't have to bother about other subjects and number two suppose at skill level there are six papers if you appeared for all six if you passed five papers couldn't complete one paper you failed in one paper then you will have just have to repeat that one paper only that is a better thing subjects are difficult but they are giving you this two comfort number one you focus on one subject at one point of time and second once you pass that subject you don't need to reappear for that subject because you failed in some other subject so in that way the results are high and i would say that at skill and professional level uh, the average is 50% so out of two candidates one is clearing that examination and that's a global scenario if you see in the indian context indians are comparatively smarter and they are working very hard so this ratio would be little high but at the global level around it is 50% if someone is not able to complete his professional level uh, will he be eligible for a job yeah definitely but my first advice is that keeping all work aside uh, the candidate should focus on completing all 13 papers but somehow not able to complete uh, definitely uh, he or she would get a job but as i mentioned out of three different places where someone can get a job one is mnc second is big four and third one is outsourcing where the scope would be limited for him It's more or less outsourcing unit would hire such a candidate who has just completed skill level and not the professional level so my first advice advice complete professional level so that increase your possibility of getting jobs at different places but somehow due to any reason if not able to complete still they will get a job of around 4 to 5 lakhs in the outsourcing